A new information tonight on the helicopter crash that killed basketball legend Kobe Bryant, his daughter, and seven other people. They were all headed to a youth basketball clinic when that helicopter crashed in Southern California. It was over one year ago. The NTSB says the pilot apparently violated federal standards when he flew through the fog. He was under visual flight rules, meaning that he needed to see where he was going. The federal authorities say the pilot made a poor decision to fly that day. Certainly don't think he was out trying to kill himself and kill his passengers, uh, but apparently it was an issue of judgment and decision making that led to this tragic situation. The foggy conditions in that area kept many other flights grounded that morning. Let's check in with Rebecca Berry now, who's been looking at the conditions. So, Rebecca, federal investigators say that the pilot likely became disoriented when he flew through those very dense clouds that day. It's called spatial disorientation. It's when confusion kills and it's caused by weather. And so when pilots fly into fog, snow, or even rain that's blinding and they lose any sort of frame of reference visually, that's when this happens. And what happens is the disorientation creates an inability to determine your angle or altitude or speed. It's described as not being able to understand which way is up. Other people may experience this when scuba diving and they train scuba divers to watch bubbles to see which direction they're traveling to help orientate themselves in a situation like this. And they determined that the pilot of his chopper experienced somographic illusion and what that is it's a misperception that acceleration was actually a change in pitch and so it, it was the misperception that he was headed up and he actually said over the radio that he was ascending when in fact he was not ascending but he was accelerating forward and so when they train pilots for the next level of flight which he was not which is instrument rated to be able to fly in these conditions they train pilots to deal with this because they say at some point you are going to experience spatial disorientation. They train them to avoid it and then some tactics that when it happens to rely on their instruments instead of what they can see. And had he put it in autopilot or relied on instruments, he may not have made those same decisions. They also say if you have a co-pilot, allow your co-pilot to take over briefly because it's very rare that both pilots would experience the disorientation at the same time. And so weather played a huge factor in decreasing his ability to make good decisions. Rebecca, thank you. Kobe's 13 year old daughter, Gianna, basketball, I'm sorry, baseball coach, uh, John Ottobelli and wife Carrie and their daughter, Alyssa, were killed in that crash, as were Sarah Chester, her daughter, Peyton, coach Christina Mauser, and pilot Ara Zobayan.